the young boy. I mean, let me just say this, bro. We were standing right there, actually watching, and I seen it now. He did, like I said, he did throw the. I'm, I'm here to bump for young boy. Let me just say that, but we, he did throw a big ass D lineman off his back. I mean, he do that shit all the time. Like you get what I'm saying? Try to uh uh-uh, try to t- get up out of the tackle, whatever, whatever. Um, saw him tap. You feel me? I thought you know something was going on. You know, I guess where I'm at with it is just. You know, he said, you know, I ain't going to lie. I was tired. Lie, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Lie. (laughs) Please. (laughs) Help me. (laughs) Lie. Like you you stole something. Yeah? (laughs) Bad Did you see them do that? (laughs) No. No. (laughs) You feel me? Lie. Don't. You hear me? Now, the reality, this is the the dead honest truth because I, I, honestly, I appreciate it because it was respectful. Everybody, yo, yo, Big Z, I need, I need to hear your real thoughts on Young Boy. Uh, now, let me just say this: the truth of the matter is, I haven't even really had a chance to talk to Anthony about the situation. So, that's first <clears throat> foremost. But that being said, bad John, you can't like, you can't say that to the media. Like, you, you can't go out and tell y'all anything because I'm not. <sighs> I'm not gonna make it a, a a media thing, but it's just it's just not the response that you could give as a leader on a team, like after a, a, a situation. It's just not how you want to go about it. You know, what I mean, I feel like uh, me knowing Anthony and just him being in that situation, and I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't know. This is maybe me taking some blame, but I just feel like maybe he get a little bit from me too. Like cause sometimes, like when you talk to the media, sometimes. It's easy to get into the, yeah, you know, we didn't play good today. And, you know, I got to be better. And, you know, the coach put us in a good position. And, you know, I didn't execute the game plan. And I got – you know what I mean? It's cool to be that. In today's day and age, you know, sometimes you kind of want to give more candid responses. You kind of want to give more of who you are and your personality uh, to the fans just so they look got a better understanding, a little bit of who you are. Not one of them times where, like, nobody gives a fuck. You get what I'm saying? That's when you lose. Like I said, when you win – when we win – Shout out to the guys. And, uh, I mean, it's shout out to – we with the guys regardless. But when you lose, nobody cares. Like, that's the thing that sucks. Like, you can have a great game and, mm-hmm. and you lose and that shit just in the wind. You get what I'm saying? So, it's just like when you lose, young boy, they don't care about your personality. Like, it's a lot of angry people in there and they want answers. <laughs> and sometimes the truth is too, str- too strong for them, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? So, you should a lot. But that's where that is. But at the same time – uh, like uh, Ryan said, Ryan Kelly said, and uh, I saw a couple other people say, um, I think he understand that, like, that's just not, you feel me? Like, the message, that's not necessarily the, you know, example that we want to put out there, I guess. And, uh, you know, while it's a tough job, you know, uh, all he can really do is learn from the situation. I mean... I get it. I know he's young. I'm not one of the people that lean on the whole, oh, he's young, he's going to figure it out type of situation. But uh, at the same time, I feel like he was just trying to be honest with a group of people that didn't care about honesty at that moment. Yeah. They wanted a answer that was going to make them feel better about a situation. You get what I'm saying? And I don't think – I think he's still navigating with that face of a franchise quarterback helm actually means from a front-facing media – standpoint i think that's something that he's still uh trying to work through so um tough john tough john for youngin uh but i'm like again i'm fucking with young boy right or wrong like we win together we lose together you get what i'm saying shit first game against houston this nigga could not miss he throwing bomb at the bomb carrying motherfuckers in the end zone like and we couldn't stop a damn nosebleed so you feel me who am i to sit here and say oh you know whatever struggles or anything that the offense and I, not even struggles because I feel like you know what I mean little miscues here and there execution here and there and you know it's a different game you know what I mean uh, but who am I who are who are we as a defense to sit here and judge a, a offense for whatever you know it, like we like we are perfect like we sit here and we don't give up plays or we don't do anything else too um, it's a team game we win together we lose together what I will say is 
I do want our team to start playing better together complimentary. Uh, that's something I think we do got to uh, continue to grow and work Both on. Both sides of the ball. Both sides of the ball. Like, like the layup, like, like the, like the, the give and go layup. Tim said, I don't know basketball. That's cool. I don't know. Oh, cool. That's cool. Look, it's cool. Oh, you hoop now. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, you it's Muslim cool. now. No more. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, here you we hoop. go. It's cool. You still want cool. 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 me on the line. Cool. You still want oh, me on the line. I still look. I still think you're live. You can dunk. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> but uh, we do. Like I said, I think I think it's just better. To be honest with you, how I felt about the game, I felt like on Sunday. Now hear what I'm saying. On Sunday, we were the more talented team out there. Getting Buck back, getting JT back. Obviously, you know you can't control who plays, who don't play. But I felt like talent wise, we were t- more talented than them. I don't think we played winning football, though. Like, as a team. This is us as a team. Like, it's not like I was a part of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in that situation, like, so, like tough penalties and tough situations. Um, we just was losing a field bit position battle. Uh, I don't know. We just talked a lot about hitting yards. And uh, I felt like that's where the difference in the game became because – it was always felt like we were chasing it uphill and then stopping them from going downhill. You get what I'm saying? And uh, I don't think that's necessarily about a talent situation, more about us playing together better as a team. But we, like I said before, we continue to grow, we continue to get better, um, and we continue to um, progress throughout the season. It does suck that we just played uh, a division team twice – <laughs> and halfway through the season. Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't think you could look at our team in week one and say we the same team in week eight. Now, I get it. It's the same result. Lost to Houston. Fuck it. I get it. Y'all look. Shoot me. I dig it. But I do feel like our team significantly got better. I think we still growing, still finding out what the identity of the 2024 Colts is going to be. Um, and I'm, you know, looking forward to watching that progress and grow. Uh, you know, throughout the rest of the season. But it is tough when you play the team twice before the fucking halfway mark of the season, bro. And, like, again, we ain't even – we haven't got a – I mean, it's just – it's tough. But that was the cards we was dealt, so. For sure. For it sure. is what it is. It is what it is. But, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Look, tough, John. Kudos to them. They did their thing. Uh, I did want to get man man props, but I feel like since he – Slick hated on me. I ain't gonna go there. But. And that 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 explanation was for the real Colts fans, not the ones who be bandwagoning the wins and the losses. Yes, we ain't talking to y'all, bro. We don't know y'all no explanation. <laughs> that was for the real Colts fans who who be rocking with us. You feel me? Our ups and downs. You feel what I'm saying? And when we go on our three game win streak, the Colts fans who happy, and when we do lose, the Colts fans who hold us accountable for sure. If they see something they don't like, but it ain't too crazy where they just talking crazy. Yeah, like, bro, like, my yeah, thing is, bro. like, to me, that's part of being a fan. Like, and, and look, <laughs> I hope for, I mean, for all the, the trenches haters out there, because we, we've grown a uh, uh, hating community by, by a ton. Uh, I hope y'all can at least give us credit for that. Like, when we come in here after a loss, we don't come in here and be like, Oh, I had 11 tackles in the TFL. Oh, I had 10 tackles TFL in the PBU. And, oh, damn, did you yeah. remember I made that that one play? Like, we don't come in here and do that. Yeah, bro. It's, we Shit, lost, when we bro. win, we don't even come in here and do that. Yeah. About ourselves, at least. Even though I wish we did a little bit. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I feel like we at least keep it P. Like, you feel me? If we lose, especially if we ain't play well, we be on some shit. We fucked up. Like, we, like what else? In my opinion, what else would you want from, you know what I mean, one of your favorite players?